your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fundco. With analysis, latest news and expert insights on a wide array of stocks. Stay tuned as we delve into the world of stocks and investments. Today, we focus on a prominent player in the food industry, Sarvashwa Foods Limited. Born out of the lush green fields of Jammu and Kashmir in India, this company has been a trailblazer since its inception in the early 70s. Sarvashwa Foods has successfully etched its mark in the agro-food processing industry, with a primary focus on rice, a staple grain that feeds billions. They've also diversified into other sectors like organic foods and fast-moving consumer goods. Their business model is a blend of tradition and innovation. They've harnessed the rich heritage of farming practices in their region while embracing modern technology to ensure product quality and consistency. This approach has enabled them to cater to both domestic and international markets, with a presence in over 20 countries. Saveshwa Foods' commitment to sustainable farming and fair trade practices has not only earned them a loyal customer base, but has also positioned them as a socially responsible enterprise. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into the stock specifics. Sarveshwa Foods. Lilith's stock performance is a topic of interest for many investors. With a dynamic market every day, it's crucial to stay updated on the latest numbers. Let's dive into the specifics. Starting with the stock price, it's a figure that fluctuates, reflecting the market's perception of the company's value. It's influenced by various factors, including the company's earnings, the economy, and investor sentiment. As of today, the stock's price stands at a certain value. But remember, it's a snapshot of the market's opinion at a particular moment. Next, let's examine the change in price, which indicates how much the stock's price has moved from the previous trading day. This price change can be an increase or decrease, and it gives us a glimpse into the stock's short-term performance. Today, Sarveshwar Foods Lightnid's stock has seen a certain change, which could be a result of a myriad of factors. Lastly, let's talk about the fundamentals. These are the financial health indicators of a company. They include aspects like earnings per share, price to earnings ratio, and dividend yield, among others. These indicators provide insights into the company's financial stability and growth prospects. The fundamentals of Sarveshwa Foods Lutinid suggest a certain picture about the company's financial health. Remember, understanding these specifics is important, but they are just part of the whole picture. Investing decisions should be based on comprehensive research and not just on these numbers alone. Now that we've covered the basics, let's look at the technical analysis. Understanding the technical analysis of a stock can provide valuable insights into its performance, so let's dive into the technical analysis of Sarveshwar Foods Limited. The stock has been showing some interesting trends recently. From a chartist's perspective, the stock has been moving in a defined pattern, which could be an indication of future price movements. Now, let's look at some key technical indicators. The Relative Strength Index, or RSI, has been hovering around the 50 mark, suggesting a neutral momentum. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD, has also been fluctuating around the signal line, indicating a balanced market sentiment. As for today's movement, it seems to be influenced by a combination of these technical factors coupled with the overall market sentiment. While the stock has seen some volatility, it's important to remember that the market is a complex system, influenced by numerous variables. It's always crucial to consider a holistic view of the market and the company's fundamentals when making investment decisions. With the technical aspects covered, let's move to the shareholding pattern. The shareholding pattern and broker ratings can significantly influence an investor's decision. Diving into the shareholding pattern of Sarveshwar Foods Looted, we see a healthy mix of large and small shareholders. This balance indicates a broad interest and trust in the company's operations and future prospects. Institutional investors hold a significant portion, demonstrating the confidence of experienced market participants in the firm's strategy and performance. Retail investors also have a substantial stake, showing the company's popularity among individual traders. Moving on to broker ratings, Sarveshwar Foods Lifted enjoys favourable assessments from several reputable brokerage firms, 
the stock has received buy and strong buy ratings from a majority of them, indicating a general consensus on the stock's potential for future growth. However, it's crucial to remember that these ratings are just one factor among many to consider when investing. They should be used in conjunction with your own research and risk tolerance. With that, we have covered all the key points about Saveshwar Foods Latent Stock. In today's video, we have provided an in-depth analysis of Saveshwar Foods Limited. We've covered everything from its current price, changes and business model, to the technical analysis and the reason for today's movement. We also looked at the shareholding pattern and popular broker ratings. The status of Sarveshwar Foods in the stock market is dynamic, reflecting its solid fundamentals and promising outlook. Thank you for tuning into FunCode, your go-to channel for all things finance and investment. Keep investing wisely. Before you go, though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks.